ancient to present times, several particular edifices are built, by every worthy institution, with the intention, to be the records of time, and archives of human knowledge. Such institutions, and the built-up structures, that would be, in present and future a great benefit to mankind, with the veil of superstition, thrown over them. Almost every edifice, which should have been, a simple record of fact, was worked up into an allegory. These structures, get their generic name temple, from what they represent, that is time. The word time, comes from the Latin word tempus. Temple in Freemasonry, groom every Freemason in time, to pursue philosophically, the endeavor to seek knowledge, from priestcraft to science, from mystery to knowledge, and, from allegory to real history. According, to the Indian tradition of architecture, the temple and the town, should mirror the cosmos. The square, shape represents, the heavens, with the four directions representing, the cardinal directions. The temple must be seen, as a structure, that gives us considerable information, about the science, and cosmology of its times. An assumed equivalence between, the outer, and the inner cosmos, is central to the conception of the temple. No wonder, the temple ranks amongst, the greatest creations, of human imagination. The emblems of, the most ancient temples, including Masonic temples, of which we have ruins, are emblems of time, of planetary bodies, their motions and relations, and of sun worship. It's common that temples, like those of the ancients, have generally, and only with a few modern exceptions, been built due east and west, in respect to the rising and setting of the sun. The steeples, more simply explained as the top part of the temple, have been conical emblems of flame, which is again emblematical of the sun. And, virtually every aspect of their respective ritual, will carry every word connected with religion, back to primitive sun worship, with few exceptions, but all rituals for, mental cultivation. It is, therefore no great stretch of the imagination, to call for the admission, that the first temples were dedicated to the sun, that, the first principles of religion consisted, of a scientific record of the sun's annual path, through the signs of the zodiac, with other than known science. When man, began to make God like himself, he began also to give God a dwelling place, such as he found, or could make on earth. The first temples, that were imagined by ingenuity, were temples in the heavens, time marked by planetary partitions. The true meaning, then, of the building of Solomon's temple in Freemasonry is, and the practice of the lodges should be, learning and understanding the allegorical depiction of the solar relations and planetary motions, with mental and moral cultivation, which is, in truth, is the great lost secret of Freemasonry.